everyone, it's Denise with Wonder Bar Crafts. I am back to let you guys know and show the new mixed media packs that I have loaded in my Etsy. I only have five of them, but they're fairly large packs. Um, this isn't all of it. <laughs> this is only the paper portion. There's also fabric and lace and trim and that sort of thing with them. So what I wanted to do is show you guys one of the paper packs because they're all similar with the exception of the book cover and the napkins that are in it. So I, and those are all listed in the Etsy. Um, the, the book sizes, the, um, the cover, the book cover size in each of the descriptions. So I've listed them all as separate listings. Um, I think it might be a little easier and I was able to load more detailed photographs in Etsy that way. So I may end up doing it more like that in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, the paper portion of the mixed media bundle is the same. So it's all wrapped up in pretty lace. This one happens to match the purple pack, which I will show you in just a moment. So let's flip it over and start. <laughs> this way we can go through it this way. I put um, two pieces of coffee dyed paper, two pieces of avocado dyed paper, or two sheets, that eight and a half by 11. Let me make sure I am, I am in frame, okay. And two tea stain papers, two avocado dyed doilies. These doilies are the nine inch doilies a piece of vintage ledger. It is a full signature page. It is like a grocery ledger. So that is in there. And I had to fold it down because I don't want it to tear because it is old. And then I put some, there is, let's see, five. This is vintage dictionary paper. And there's five signatures in it, five full signatures. And the pages measure six and a half by nine and three quarters. So there are five sheets in there. And then there are eight signature vintage music pages. These measure five and a half wide by eight and a half high. And it is from a vintage Baptist hymnal. And then each pack will also have a book cover so that you can use your cover to make a journal or put it in your stash to keep it for whatever. <laughs> this particular one is for the purple pack, uh, purple and yellow pack. It is white. It is, it's hard to tell. This kind of looks between a deep mauve and a plum colored. So but I felt it matched the best. Also, you're gonna get two of the glass, now these are glassine lunch bags, like a takeout lunch bag sort of thing, and you could probably take it apart and you know, make some smaller glassine bags or whatever, but I kind of like that it has <laughs> these lines kind of like paper. Uh, so there's two of them in there. There's also a vintage decorative glassine bag, <clears throat> a clear, it's a waxy glassine bag. And all the dimensions for this stuff is listed in, in the, is listed on the listing itself. And then this one is for the purple pack. It comes with three decorative napkins. And then two of the manila blank inventory tags. It also comes with a small card pack. Well, it's not really small, small but <laughs> you're going to get one of the blue trimmed edition flash card. There are four of this licorice. It looks like licorice anyway. <laughs> licorice trimmed and they are subtraction flash cards. Four, uh, let's see, three world places cards and they tell like different places and then that's where I'm from. <laughs> well, I don't live in St. Louis, but Missouri. 
and then there's three different ones in each pack. Four of the children's I can read flashcards, and these ones you can, and I tried to make them so it at least had a three letter word in there, and then an off one, and then they're on both sides, decorated on both sides. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make this as fast as possible because there's a lot to go through. Seven mixed, uh, the blue, the, they're blue on one side, green on the other. There's some of them are division and multiplication and subtraction and addition flashcards. There are two, um, wait, yeah, two word flashcards in there, and they're random. There are three telling time cards. They all have just the same clock on the back, but they have a decorative clock on the front. And then there are 18 mixed playing cards in here. So you get a big large one, <laughs> and then just some mixed ones in here. There's 18 total. And I did make sure that um, each pack either had an Ace of Spades or a Joker in it. Because those are really the decorative uh, cards in that one. And then there are three of the thick. And these this is a child's game, Mix and Match Animals. So there's three of them. I thought those were kind of cute and you could cut them out or do something, make a little tag or something for it, even for a children's journal. And then five of the Candyland little cards. All right, so plenty, plenty of paper media to work with and to play with and to have a good time with. And then on top of that, there are... So like I said, each of these, the paper packs are the same with the exception of the napkins and the book cover. All right, And of course some of the playing cards are different and you know the I can read and, and the clock ones are different. So, and then each one of these comes with a fabric and linen pack. So let me go grab those and I'll show you those. All right, each pack. All of the linens will be wrapped separate. I I know that a lot of times your papers and stuff don't bleed or that I just I always like to separate them. I don't know why. I just I worry about it. <laughs> so let me show you what this is the purple pack. And there is quite a bit here. There is a lot here. This one has Let's see if we can find it. Go through my list here. I have in all of the measurements, I'm not going to call out all the measurements because it would just take too, way too long, but there is a really nice plum lace piece here. Uh, a nice big piece of white eyelet fabric. Um, let's see, off-white lace, and this one's pretty big, so you get quite a bit out of this one. Decorating tags or journal covers or, or whatever. This one, I think, would be great for a journal cover or the start of a journal cover, and you could certainly sew more stuff on it or embellish it with a lot more. But this is a, a, a very large piece. Um, as you can see, it's crocheted all the way in the bottom. It was a table, uh, like a, a larger table runner. And so this is a corner piece from it. It is, I'm going to give you the measurements on this one. It's 16 wide by 15 high. So it would definitely cover a journal. But... I love the embroidery on that. Isn't that just beautiful? All those pretty flowers. That is gorgeous. 
All right, and then there is this nice big long piece of crocheted. It was like a, a, a curtain valance. So I cut it into segments. And this piece, I think, is 9.5 by 13. But you could certainly cut these smaller pieces out or, you know, make your own segments or, or doilies, mini doilies, out of it. All right. And then there is one... <clears throat> This is a very long, long piece, and it's a um, it's a cotton fabric. It does it is raised a little bit. It's got some texture to it, and it is so it's like a. Let's see if I can. It's a yellow, green, and tan. Pick it up, and it it is really long. It's three inches wide. I cut it three inches wide. But it is, ooh, let's see, what do my notes say? I'm trying to find it. Oh, yeah, 56. 56 inches in, in length. So it was a very long, big piece of fabric. And this, this is vintage. And then <clears throat> there are, each of the packs have, I put four, nine, by nine inch pieces of fabric. This one's a nice, it's textured, nice baby pink. And then this one is uh, quilt squares. And then this one is like a uh, very light, uh, well a little bit darker, like a medium pink, but it has red rosebuds on it. And then this piece of purple and it's sparkly purple butterflies and all of this is vintage fabric it's all from like the 90s the early 90s <laughs> and then this is also vintage this is a piece of uh, a cotton fabric uh, strip and this one half a yard half a yard long Sorry, I'm giving you measurements, and I told you guys I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> now here's a nice vintage hanky to go with it. And I like this one because it has, like, the, the rounded edges on this corner. I think that's so pretty. A piece of vintage trim. All of my fabrics I launder. I take great care in laundering the vintage stuff. It is all done by hand to get any stains or any markings or anything like that out of the fabric. And it is handled with extreme care. <laughs> and then I do iron everything out. So it's a nice piece of it's it's cotton fabric, but it's kind of like um the weight of like a bed sheet. And then here's an old vintage doily piece. It is not in mint condition. It has some, like here at the end, where it, it started to come apart. But this is as white as I could get it without bleaching the green out, which I did not want to do. So a nice piece of lace trim. And this is it. It's kind of like a pinky purple, almost a mauve, but it's it's very light. Very, very pretty. And this piece is also vintage. And then some vintage blue and white lace trim. And this is vintage. It's one inch wide by in a, a whole yard. And even the trims were, were washed. And then I have a nice little dangly piece, sparkly piece in here. Okay, it's on tulle and it's all beaded and it's got jewels and sequins on it. And then also, I don't know if you guys see my last video, but I have a new digital kit. And so what I did was I put a pack of 
Sari in each of the bundles. This one has, uh, and each of the pieces is two yards long. This one is variegated. It is purple. There's purples and yellow and orange and green and a like a steel gray. And then this one is an orchid color and this one is called Vintage Off-White. And I put them on the new uh, ribbon holders that are in my Etsy. Okay, so that is the purple pack. Alright, and then this is the blue. This one in blue. And they are big packs. And I will tell you, I weighed them. And they do weigh over a pound. So this is what I am going to do. <laughs> because it would automatically have to ship priority mail. So, to keep the cost as low as I possibly can for you guys, I am going to list them at half the weight, which means you would pay the priority or the first class rate. Then I am going to bump it up to the full weight and I will pay the difference between the other half of the weight to send it priority mail. So these will all ship out priority mail and you guys will pay for half the weight, I will pay the other half. So we're, we're going to split the shipping cost on that. How's that? I think that's an awesome deal. All right, so this one, I do know that in the, in the blue pack, the, the book cover is a light blue with a black spine, and it's five and three quarters by nine and a half, uh, five and... Yeah, five and three quarters wide, nine and a half high, or nine and a quarter high, and it has a one and an eighth inch spine on it. And those that is pictured in Etsy. Alright, so we got this nice dark navy blue piece of crocheted lace fabric here, or a nice big piece. You can do a lot with that. And then here's a nice piece from a lace tablecloth. It's off-white. Nice big piece. And I think this one was uh, 20 wide by 14 high. So nice big, big pieces. And then a piece of that eyelet lace fabric. I love this piece. I love the color, the blue and the white on this, the striping. I love it. I kept a small piece for myself. <laughs> but it does come on there, and you can easily just take it apart if you want it, or just cut that portion off. And you've got this nice big thick piece of lace trim. Nice crocheted lace trim. It's beautiful trim. A corner piece to a tablecloth that had that's white and it has red rickrack with a little red cross stitched kitty on there. So cute. Another piece of that valance. Like I said, you could cut this out, make smaller doilies, cut this piece as a as like a webbing piece over the top of something or you know, to showcase kind of through it. Whatever's underneath. I think that would be pretty. A vintage blue hanky. Oh, and that kitty cat tablecloth piece is uh vintage. And this is also vintage. Nice nice hanky. Like I said, I, I do, I soak my stuff, and I scrub, and I soak, and I scrub. Try and get it as clean as possible. Alright, this is like that soft felt, almost like a baby felt soft, not felt, I keep saying felt. Well, it is kind of felty, it's kind of like a flannel fabric, and it has blue 
little blue roses, uh, rosebuds on it. <clears throat> and then here are the four pieces of the nine by nine square fabrics. Those are all vintage. A vintage doily. It is not in mint condition. There are there is a little bit of damage on the corners. And there was a stain here that I just I scrubbed and scrubbed and I could not get it out. But believe me, it came a lot cleaner. It was almost it was like almost coffee dark brown. It was it was pretty bad. I didn't know if I was gonna get it out, but I got it pretty light, so but of course if you're using it for collaging you're just going to cut it apart anyway and then another piece of that pretty rose pink rose fabric and some blue lacy trim there I think this might have been like some sort of valance or, or curtain top very pretty I like that light blue and then this piece came from a vintage old doll dress that was all torn apart. So what I did was I cut off all the the embroidered trim pieces on there. That'd be nice on the bottom of a tag or something. And then this little piece, which is kind of like the... It came from the same piece as the other one that uh, was in the purple pack. It just did not have any of the the golden yellow backing on it. But as you can see, it's got tons of beads and, and sparkle and sequins on it. I have fuzz everywhere. And then this is a piece from a wedding dress. It has sequins and pearls, circular pearls, and the oblong teardrop style pearls on it. Very, very pretty. And then some sari silk. Once again, three pieces, two yards a piece. This one is called Garden Mix. It's uh, a blue, a green, and a tan variegated. Then the Vintage Off White and the Angel Soft White. Okay, on that. And that's one of my lace holders. All right, so that is the blue pack. All right, and then this pack is predominantly green. There is some mix in here, but it is predominantly green. Oops, sorry, my, com my computer's talking at me. So this one has this huge piece of beautiful lace curtain. It was like 10 yards long. So there's a big cut in here. This cut is um, 27 inches wide by a yard, and it is a light yellow, very light yellow, and it's all embroidered. Isn't that beautiful? And it's like a tulle, light yellow tulle, but it's not the stiff tulle, it's a very light, like a curtain sheer type fabric. Beautiful. But it was like, like I said, there was like 10 yards of it. It was a lot to cut. <laughs> and then a nice piece of white crochet fabric. It is a little bit stretchy, but it's not, it's not elasticy, if you know what I mean. And then this piece is vintage. It was a tablecloth. It was um, with this nice variegated green uh, pattern on it. And this is a corner piece. And then two pieces of this really pretty scarf fabric. It's sheer. And there's two two patterns on it. This one has like blue flowers and this one has some blue, white, and pink flowers on there. This one has one of those little crochet panels with a bunny. And 
and that is also vintage and then a vintage hanky this one I am surprised I don't think it was ever used because it was quite white already when I got it so I think it may have been in a lady's drawer or something for a while and she just never used it but it's got this really pretty green with a variegated pink around the edge and then these really pretty pink flowers on there and then once again the 9x9 nine nine pieces of vintage fabric and then <laughs> and then <laughs> I don't remember what movie that was from <laughs> this nice big piece this would be a great journal cover piece this one is uh, 12 wide by uh, or 14 wide by 12 high it is a heavier fabric it's not quite the thickness of upholstery it's and it's not quite jean fabric but it is a heavy cotton fabric and it's got some teacups and pictures and china on it I thought that was a really pretty piece and then another piece of this like I, I don't think it wasn't bed sheet but it's a very thin cotton fabric it's as thin as, as bed sheet fabric like linen and then another piece of this trim that is checkerboard yellow and green and tan and a piece of that tablecloth with the red rickrack and that's vintage Big vintage doily, big old one. Let's see, that's a piece of fuzz. It is not perfect. It has some areas in it that have come apart. So if you're looking for a perfect doily, that is not. This is not it. <laughs> but this doily is. I think this one is. Yeah, 13 inch doily, which is pretty big for a doily. Those things are expensive when you try and find them in the antique stores. And then this came from a, a prom dress. Very pretty light pale yellow with some embroidered flowers. And it has sequins, but it has glass. Or no sequins, but these are, are, well, there are a few sequins underneath them. It's not a lot, but it has glass clear those little, well, it's, I don't think they're glass. They're plastic clear beads on it, on the beadwork on it. Just beautiful. And then there is a piece of that uh, beaded and sparkly with the pink tool, but this one is backed on that golden yellow. And then a nice big piece of thick crocheted lace and it is white and off-white uh, it took me a minute or two when I was washing it to figure that out I thought oh it's stained pretty bad look at the and then I realized that <laughs> the pattern in it there was pattern was repeating I was like that, that's not staining <laughs> that's the actual color of the of the lace and that piece of the wedding dress beautiful embroidered pieces and then another lace ribbon card with sari silk. Once again, three colors in two yard increments. This one is called um, Sherbert Ice Cream. It's got yellow, reds, and greens variegated. This one is the Garden Mix with the green, tan, and blue. And the Vintage Off-White on this one. And the fourth pack is pink. You know me, I gotta do a pink. I have to do a pink. I'm not the only one that likes pink, though, you know? There are others out, out there that, that love the pink. <laughs> a nice big piece. This was from a jacket, so that was the sleeve end. So you could easily take this apart and have an extra piece on there, or you could cut it off. It's double-sided. Make a lovely pocket inside of a journal page, you know? 
beautiful piece. I love the color of that, that green against that off-white with that pink. So pretty. And dainty and pretty and flowery. And then I got a nice big, this came from a crocheted sweater or a top. And so this is the sleeve piece. Little flowers that you could cut out. If you didn't want to purchase all those little tiny flowers that you see everybody, you could always cut these little pieces out and have them. Or if you can't find them, it's a good way to, to get them. This beautiful piece of sheer, and it is light pink. The, the, the fabric itself is a very light pink. So I'm going to put something white underneath it so you can see. And it sh it's very shimmery and beautiful pink. And it's got a little bit of glitter on it. Just a little bit. But I did wash it and it, and it oh, I got it backwards. <laughs> it did not come off. So, which I was surprised because most of the time if you buy anything with glitter, as soon as you wash it, the glitter goes everywhere. So, it's on there pretty good. Oh, sorry. Ubers are getting mad at each other. They're restless. A nice piece of lace um, curtain piece. And this piece I like because it has, let me put something underneath it here so you can kind of see it. The flowers are colored. So you kind of got a pink and then it looks like a very light, or it's either a blue or a very deep purple color. I think it's more blue, like a, well, not pale, but it is blue. And it washed and it didn't fade, so it was good. And then a vintage piece of lace, and this was like a small square uh, doily. And a hinky with some pretty pink embroidery in there and of course the four pieces of 9x9 nine nine square vintage fabrics cotton fabric another piece of that cotton very light cotton fabric I love the purple or I mean the purple the pink flowers in it and then a doily. This this came as a set. There was a set of them, so I had plenty of them to go in the packs. Like I said, though, they are in not in mint condition. They are torn apart, but more intended more for you know your collaging and stuff. This one has a nice big piece of. Let's see if I got it on the right side or not. Uh, I think it's, it goes this way. Because <laughs> I typically fold them inside out. A uh, big piece here of eyelet lace trim. This was from a, uh, a bed skirt. Beautiful though. Beautiful eyelet lace. And some light pinky. It's like a peachy pink. It's more peach, I think, than pink. Once again, I think it was like a, a topper for uh, some curtains. And all the measurements are in the listings. I've got this nice piece. It's a heavy, heavy cotton. You can hear it. That would be nice for a nice strip in a, in a journal or on a tag. A little bit of this is kind of like a peachy pink trim it looks white but it really is it's a uh, very light peachy pink very delicate very pretty and then a couple strips of some pink sequins uh, that was uh, sewed on here so you could also t you could take it off and use it or you could just Use it just like that. I think it's pretty. A 
piece of that tablecloth, the runner with the red rickrack that's vintage. And this nice big long beaded piece. <laughs> it was, came from off of a, I think it might have been a prom dress the way it was designed. But it, the beadwork on it is just beautiful and it's intricate. I mean there's embroidery in here with bead outlay outlines, you know, on each of them. There's sequence in here. And I had a heck of a time cutting it to make sure that none of the beads broke. <laughs> but I managed it. But pretty, pretty coral. Coral pink color there. And then a ribbon card, a ribbon holder. Some sari silk in the cotton candy. The off-white vintage, or the vintage off-white, and the angel soft white as well. And the last and fifth pack. I think I saved the best for last. At least I think so. And I will show you why here in a second because the piece that goes in here, I had a hard time parting with it, but I did keep a small segment for myself. <laughs> so this one has this really pretty, it's on backed on like a satin fabric and it's it's like that uh, velvety, it's got a velvet feel to it, but it's not raised velvet piece on there. I thought that was really pretty, kind of boho-y. So there's a little boho in here. <laughs> a nice white tablecloth piece, nice big piece. Last you for a while, cutting it, cutting it a little bit here and a little bit there. And this is the piece that I was I was talking about. It is a very pretty, it's almost like a, a brick red or a mauve color, but it was a skirt and it you can see it is just gorgeous. It's got these beautiful sequins in it. A printed outline and then some stitching in there. But it's very, actually, I think it's it's mostly just, it's printed on there. But, this, the, just the pattern on this is just gorgeous. Very boho. And I did keep a piece for myself. <laughs> because I love the color on it. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous piece. And it's such a big piece, you could cover a journal with it. You could cover a couple journals with it. Because I think this piece is 14 wide, so it's 14 wide by 32 high, so it's almost a yard. Almost a yard. Beautiful. Just gorgeous piece. Alright, a red and white, or white with red trim, vintage hanky. And it has, I think these are the carnation. Yeah, I think those are carnations. <laughs> I think they're carnation. Pretty pretty. And then here's a corner piece of that vintage tablecloth with the kitties. And this one has a flower, two kitties with a flower basket. Beautiful flowers. And then the red rickrack around it. A piece of vintage trim. very pretty. This stuff is very, very delicate to do. Like I said, I I pre-soak all my stuff. I wash it uh, by hand, any of the really delicate stuff. I air dry it and what I what is very delicate, I obviously air dry and then all the other stuff, everything else gets air tumble dried. I don't use any heat. This is a very pretty sheer piece with some red Roses and embroidery and some sequin. Very, very pretty, uh, like veil type fabric. And then, it said 9 by 9 inch vintage fabric squares. Another piece of that heavy duty 
fabric. Nice, pretty trim, beautiful trim. A piece of vintage trim here. A piece of that wedding dress with a satin background. Some more of the I had plenty of this fabric, so as you can see it went into each of the packs. That. This one has the peachy coral lace trim. It also has a vintage doily on this one. This one doesn't has a little bit of damage here and here. But you could certainly cut this piece off, use it as a backing, cut it, cut that nice big square. You'd have a nice piece for something. And then a piece of this eyelet trim that was a bit skirt. This one also has another piece, because I only had the two pieces that I could cut out. So, as you can see, that it came from uh, one of the ruffles on the dress. Like I said, it just has this beautiful beadwork all the way around. It, there's stitching all the way through it. You know, just embroidered. Beautiful piece. So this is kind of like my boho pack here. <laughs> and then a, another piece of that on the, that doesn't, it just doesn't have the golden yellow backing. It's on a pink tool. And then this one has a, a ribbon holder as well that has sari silk and, and it has the burgundy. It has brick red, and then this one is called, they called it grungy vintage lace. <laughs> so, and it does, it's really dark, vintage-y, it's like, kind of like a tan, very dark off-white. So, and that's, that's the packs. Like I said, they're, they are big, big packs this time. Um, I tried to price them a little less. As, as low as I could go with them and I will split the shipping so most of the packs averaged about a pound and a half which you know anything over a pound rates at it has to go priority mail so I will list them at half the weight and then I will upgrade it to the full weight and it will automatically upgrade it to priority mail so it should be like two or three day shipping on them but thanks a lot guys for hanging out this video probably a little long I just wanted to show you guys what was in the pack I listed them all separately in Etsy so I could get some better pictures in there uh, to kind of show you if you have any questions feel free to message me through Etsy and I'll get back to you normally within a few hours, typically not more than 24. I got a new circuit machine, and I am eager to play with it. So <laughs> I got my last video done and, and realized I need to get this one done too. So I'm off to go play with that. And I will talk at you guys hopefully later this weekend. I'm going to start a new journal and hopefully do some craft along with me. So until then, guys. Lots of love, hugs, and blessings. Mwah. Bye.